Alright, welcome back. In the last video, we set up our timer. And in this video, we are going to set up the frame and the slide-in effect for our HUD. Let's go to the meta folder. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the level folder because we still have these here. And I'm going to just double click on the layer and pick Sprite, place it, and I'm going to load an image from a file. I'm going to go to our UI. We want UI HUD. Select that, open it, and that should be 128 by 24. Our origin point, I'm going to put it at the far left in the middle. So that's going to be 4 on the keypad. We don't need to worry about anything else. I'm going to exit out of that and I'm going to rename this HUD underscore frame uh, coins. Something I wanted to show you. If we zoom in here, you can see our little dot over here. That is the origin point that we set on the far left. With our text object, we have the same thing. We put our origin point here on the far left in the middle. I'm going to want to place this inside our frame. But first, I need to do a couple of things. I have my HUD layer selected. I'm going to go find, I just lost my text there. Uh, my HUD text coins object, and then I'm going to just move that back up. In my Z order, I'm going to show my active layer. I have my uh, HUD frame coins. The frame is on top of the text pieces, so I'm going to drag that below both of them. And then I'm going to select the coins text object, and I'm going to change the color to black. Now I can put it on there and I'm going to turn my snap grid off so now I can move it around. So what I'm wanting to show you is we're going to use this origin point right here to place the frame on the layout. But then we're going to need a place for our text object to reference to this origin point right here. We go into our frame object, our origin point is at an X of 0, because it's at the far left, and a Y of 12, right in the middle. So let's keep that in mind. If I was right here with our text object, it would be the same thing, 0 and 12. But I want it to, and I'm eyeballing this right now, I want it to be somewhere, uh, you know, right about there. So our position on this layout says uh, 32 and 64. So our X is 32. If I had my coin text object here, and it is, let's say it's 38, and this was 32, so we're gonna go six pixels in, and then 64 is our Y, and this one will say it's 62. We'll go two down, so six in and two down, and we're gonna place another origin point. So let's go into our frame, and let's right click over here, and add a new image point. And I'm going to just type in 6 and I'm going to subtract 2 from that so it'll be 10. And it puts our image point right about there. I think that's going to be in the wrong spot just by looking at it. So I'm going to move this down one more or actually up one more and I'm going to make that 8 instead of 6. So that moves it a little further in. I'm going to exit out of that and we are going to test this out. Okay, so to do this I'm going to need to delete both the frame and the text. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to delete them. However, this is one of those situations where they do have to exist to keep all the properties that we set. So over here on our meta layout I'm going to drag in our frame and then I'm going to drag in HUD coins and then I'm going to drag in our HUD time too because we're going to need that and we're going to be doing the same thing with it. Uh, I think we're going to want that to be black so set the text color for HUD time uh, to black as well. So just make sure on our meta layout we have our frame and our coins and our time. Now let's go into our functions 
And let's uh, right click and let's add a group and call this HUD slide in. I'm going to right click again and add a function and I'm going to call this the same thing. It's going to be HUD slide in. If you notice, just so that it's readable, I put HUD in all caps, slide in all lowercase, and in in all caps. I'm going to say OK on that. I'm going to drag this into our group and I'm going to start creating these. It definitely depends on the order that we create these. So if I create the frame first and the text second, the text will go on top of the frame because it was created last. So let's do that. Add an action, system, create object, and let's choose our frame coins. And we want this to be on our HUD layer. And our X is going to be, I'm going to leave that at X uh, 0 for X and Y for right now. And let's go back to our level 1. And in our little dotted line viewport here, we want to kind of get an idea of where we want these to be. I'm going to, just for reference, drag out the HUD frame again so that we have something to go by. I'm going to try to find a good spot for it. So if I have, I'll move him off, I'm going to say somewhere uh, well, pretty close to the top. Let's say just an even 24 there. Okay. And then for the X position, um, I'll slide it over to, let's make that an even 26. Just make a copy of that for right now. Now remember our origin point is still on the far left. I'm going to keep the same Y position of 24 and then our position that actually looks pretty good. Let's make that an even, say, 204. I think that's actually even. Okay, that's going to be at 204, and that one's at 26. So I'm going to delete that copy that we made. In fact, I'm going to delete that one as well. And then I'm going to delete our time text because we don't need any of that. So let's go back into our function. Now that we have some dimensions we can put in, I'll say the X is at 26 and the Y is at 24. And then I'm going to add an action system, create object, and that object is going to be our text HUD coins. And the layer is the HUD layer. And our X position is going to be the origin point that we set up, or it's an image point that we set up on the frame. So let's type in the object name, which is HUD frame coins dot image point X. And in parentheses, we're going to use image point one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to change that X to a Y. Say done. And then I'm going to go into our start level function and I'm going to call this function. So go to our func add an action, go to our functions and HUD slide in. And I'm going to move him up to, I think right there. So we create and we fade in, we zoom, we wait 0.7 seconds and we start flashing the ready text. Then the HUD can slide in while we wait two seconds and wait for everything to get done doing what it's doing and then it'll start counting. I think that's a good place for it. Let's go ahead and go to our level one layout and play. We zoom in and there it is. If you saw, I will refresh this. It's not there and then it creates it right about there. So what I'm going to do is make that slide in. So let's select our HUD frames coins object and go to the properties, edit behavior, add a new behavior, and select the tween behavior. And then let's do the same thing for our HUD coins. Select it, add a behavior, tween, 
And then let's do the same thing for our HUD time. Uh, add a behavior and tween. Okay, back on our functions. Actually, let's go to our meta. I'm going to click on our HUD frame coins. I'm going to right click and I'm going to clone the object type. I'll place it and I'm going to name the, rename this HUD underscore frames time. And I'm going to grab these and I'm going to move them into the HUD folder. So now that we have cloned this, if we go into it, we'll see it also has the same image point, but it is now a completely different object. So back in our functions, let's go down to our HUD slide in. I want to create the same thing for the time. Add an action, system, create object, and that is going to be our new HUD frame time. The layer is going to be on the HUD layer. And the X is going to be, would we say 204? And the Y will be the same, 24. And then we will create another object and that's going to be the text for our time, text HUD time. Layer is HUD. The X is going to be uh, how we did that with the image point. So type in the HUD frame time dot image point X and in parentheses that is going to be image point one. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it down here and change the X to a Y. And then I'm going to move this text down here. So it's going to create both HUD frames first and then it'll create the text objects on top of them. So I want this to slide in from the top. Uh, I'm going to go to the meta. So what we're going to have to do is create this off screen. I'm going to create it off screen, but I still want it to be pretty close. So I'm going to say a Y of uh, minus 14. And then I'm going to tween that value to 24, which is where we have it set now. But instead of typing in 14, I'm going to create a parameter. So let's uh, right click on our function and add parameter. And I'm going to call this Y position. And then let's add an action over here and say system set value. And we're going to grab our Y position that we just created and I'm going to set it at minus 14. That way we can set this at a different uh, location if we need to and we don't have to go into each action to do it. So let's make sure we slide this to the top. That'll be the first thing we do is set the Y position variable to minus 14 and then let's go into our HUD frames and change the Y position to Y position, the variable. And do that for both of them. There we go. And now we can start moving them across the screen. In fact, let's just do this, make sure we created it correctly. We are on the wrong layout. Let's pick level one layout. And it's not there. We set it to negative 14, so it's off screen. So here's what we can do. We'll set the Y position to uh, 24. And now let's go in and play it. And there it is. It sets it. That's where our HUD is going to be. That looks good to me. I'm going to go back into our functions. I'm going to set this back to negative 14 so that it's off screen. And then we'll start tweening it in. So let's add an action. Go to our sprites, our HUD, and get our HUD frame coins and then scroll down to tween one property and that property is going to be the Y value and the N value is going to be 24 and I want it to take let's say half a second to tween in. Now you can play around with these different eases. The one that I like for this is the out back. So I'm going to click done. I am going to 
I'll do the same thing for the text. So add an action and let's go to our text. Let's get our HUD coins. Scroll down to the tween, tween one property. It's going to be Y. And our in value on this one is, remember we went uh, two pixels up from the origin of the HUD frame to set our origin point or our image point. So we had 24 as the final resting place for our frame. So I'm going to go 22 for the resting place of our text. And the time is going to be the same, 0 0.5. And I'm going to use the same ease, out back. Click done. And then I am going to play this. And you see how it slid in there? It was very subtle. But it comes in. The ease is actually, it bounces in. So you'll notice it comes in and it goes past the point and then goes back up. So let's watch that again. See how it slid in and then went back up just a little bit? Do it one more time. There it is. Okay. So that's the effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of these and I'm going to copy them and paste them. So we have two copies of these actions. But I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to hit R on the keyboard and it's going to ask me what I want to replace the HUD frame time or the HUD frame coins with and that's the time one. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to do the same thing here with the text. And I'm going to choose the HUD time. We're only tweening the Y property so that is all actually done. So let's go ahead and play it one more time. And there it is. It works perfectly. And then we die and it fades out, starts over, slides back in. There we go. So you can play around with these, uh, the values of all these to get them to slide in uh, faster or slower or a different ease or to a different position if you want. Otherwise, uh, we are done with the HUD for our level. All right. So from here, we will be making a new layout and it will be for when we beat the level when we reach the goal and we collect the diamond it's going to send us to what I call the next menu and it's just going to be a, a static menu that tells us what our score is and we're going to calculate that score and display it and then there's going to be a button that says next and that's going to send us to the next level so we will get into that in the next video I will see you there and don't forget to save